The subject for this weekend is on the New Testament priesthood. And last night in message one, we saw that the priesthood was something that is altogether according to God's eternal purpose. And that we are created to be the priests that would express God. In Genesis 1.26, we know that man was created according to God's image and God's likeness to express him and represent him. Well, what a priest does, a priest is one who expresses God and represents God. Amen. I'd like to share with you two verses from the end of the Bible. So last night we saw Genesis 1.26, the beginning, and God had this desire. Well, how does the Bible end? With whom does the Bible end? Yes. Revelation 22, I'm going to read parts of verses 3 through 5. Amen. And the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his slaves will serve him. Amen. His slaves will serve him. Wonderful. Verse 4, and they will see his face. Amen. Remember last night, Brother Ken was talking about beholding and reflecting? You know what your portion in eternity will be? It is to see his face. Amen. Not only that, his name will be on their foreheads. Can you imagine that? On your forehead will be the name of God. That means you're not just beholding and reflecting. You are beholding and becoming. <laughs> this is, this is our, our blessing for eternity. Yes. Verse 5, and night will be no more, and they have no need of the light of a lamp and the light of the sun, for the Lord God will shine upon them, Amen. and they will reign forever and ever. Amen. This is our blessing for eternity. Amen. And this is the fulfillment of God's intention in creating man. So you see how crucial the priesthood is. Because the priesthood actually fulfills God's purpose in creating man. Without the priesthood, we don't have this. So the priesthood is altogether too crucial. 